Hi, babe. Hi, Joe. What you got there? Liquor. Oh, for a minute I thought it was Carlton's hope chest. <laughs> hey, Rhoda, why aren't you getting ready? That's what I'm doing. I'm getting ready. No, I'm not talking about you. I mean, we're going to have the biggest party we ever threw in 15 minutes, and uh, there's no food out. Joe, you're looking at a very classy person. So naturally, I've arranged for the most exclusive caterer in New York City to take care of our guests this evening. Great. The Duke of Pizza. <laughs> We're having pizza? Yeah. Oh, no. Come on, Joe. It's going to be terrific. Hey, what are you so uptight about? I'm always nervous how parties turn out. I mean, when I was married, it was a big deal when people would come over to our house. Hey, wait. What do you mean, when you were married? <laughs> you noticed you are married now. Well, you know what I meant, Marion. Oh, yes. Good old perfect Marion. No, no, not perfect. Oh. Let's not get carried away here. She was not perfect. It's just that there was a small area where she was not bad. And that small area was in not serving crud when guests came to dinner. <laughs> oh, that's right. Marion is a real fancy lady. Yeah. Well, tell me, Joe, what kind of fancy crud did she serve? Well, I'll tell you, some of it was so fancy that I couldn't even pronounce it. Well, pronounce this. Pizza. <laughs> Hello. Hi, you wrote us, Susie. Hiya, Susie. How are you? We can't come tonight. Oh, Susie, not again. I can't help it. My kid's pitching in the Little League game. Do you have to watch him? Her. It's my daughter, Jennifer. I wouldn't have to go if it was my son. But a daughter needs a mother when they start yelling, Hey, go dress a doll. <laughs> Susie, don't say no. If you find that you can come later, just drop by. No fuss, no strain at all. <laughs> Sounds like my last three deliveries. <laughs> okay, listen, we'll try. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. All right, now, I don't know if this is something that's too highfalutin, but it is something that Marion always used to serve. Dessert. Or is that too fancy? Dessert? Don't worry about it. I will provide dessert. I'll go get some for Brenda. Swell. Joe. Joe, we got to make up. Look, I don't want to make up unless it's real. I don't want to pretend to make up just so we look nice when people come through that door. Why not? What's the harm? I am come too... On. I'm just too mad. I'm not making up. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. You've just, you know what's happened to you. We had one last chance to make up, and you have blown it. You will have blown it, Joe, when this door closes. Or you can re 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 <laughs> you know, and look in this cute face and decide to make up. Huh? <laughs> Forget it. Hi, Ro. Bren, I need your help. Why am I here? A dessert, yeah, right. Uh, uh, do you have any dessert? Does Gladys Knight have pips? <laughs> hey, bro. Bro, do I look okay? Because I'm taking Nick to your party tonight. Oh, you look beautiful. Yeah. But why are you wasting it on that guy? That guy? Yeah. That guy is terrific. And he's used to very exciting women. I mean, that guy has been with dental hygienists. <laughs> This should be good for dessert. Oh, it's perfect. You're going to take the first cake? Why not browse? <laughs> hey, Foxy, hey. Hi, Nick. Uh, you know my sister Rhoda? Hey, sis. <laughs> Thanks for the cake, Bren. Wait a minute. You know, Brenda, you have got a wonderful sister here. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've got to rush. I mean, she wants to ask me something, but she's too polite to do it. What? I do? Well, you want to say, hey, Nick, you're such a big-time, terrific musician. Couldn't you please play your accordion at my party tonight? <laughs> when she asked me like that, I got to say yes. <laughs> but only for an hour, huh? It's always a great pleasure to meet your young men, Brenda. <laughs> Hey, everybody, I'm really sorry. I thought we'd all spend some time out on the terrace, but the guy upstairs is feeding pigeons again. <laughs> hey, hi, Rhoda. Hi, glad hi. to see you. Glad you could come. Ah, uh, thanks. Great party, great yeah. party. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, good. <laughs> great dress, Denise. Thank you. Is it new? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Place looks really great. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. well. Uh, uh, will you excuse me a yeah, bit? Sure. Yeah, sure. 
boring. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. Well, you'll make it if you try. Rhoda, everything is real nice. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad. Thank you. I'm so glad you could come, Alice. You know. You too, Nick. I'm glad you're here. Hey, I know. No sweat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, don't you have a date? No, I'm divorced. So what's wrong with having a date? Divorced people have dates. Unlike the state of New York, I do not recognize my divorce. <laughs> yes? Good evening. This is Carlton Eudorman speaking. I would like to take the pleasure of announcing the arrival of Dr. And Mrs. Alborn. Gee, that was very nice, Carlton. You're slurring very formally tonight. How come? Well, that's because somebody gave me some very fine wine. Oh, yeah? What kind? I don't know. I couldn't read the writing on the can. Oh. Oh, here they are. Hi. Hey, all right, Arthur. You're terrific. You made it. Yeah, Jennifer got shelled in the second inning. Oh. Thanks for coming. Arthur, good to see you. Nice Great maternity you. outfit. Thanks. It's a hand myself me down. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, listen, everybody. It's real informal. As you can see, I want you to be casual and just, you know, relax. Uh, kick the shoes off, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's not even a, a sit-down dinner. Can I sit here? Oh, of course not. It'll be all right. Listen, Rhoda, I think a couple of the guests are a little hungry. Now, can we serve them something, or do we got to wait for the Duke of hors d'oeuvres, huh? Oh, come on, Joe. Everybody's having a good time. Now, just don't be so uptight. Hey, everybody, everybody. <laughs> Rhoda asked me if I'd play a little something on the accordion, so I just thought I'd... Everybody's having a great time, huh? Well, he is anyway. Thank you, thank you. Uh, any requests, huh? Yeah. Could that thing go in its case? Hey, hey sister, what's wrong with my main man here? Huh? You don't have to call it sister. Hey, okay, blood. <laughs> Let's keep everything copacetic, huh? <clears throat> Annette, what are you doing? You never talk like that. Hey, it's okay. They like that stuff. <laughs> Listen. Nick, um, please don't take this personally. You know, it has nothing to do with your playing. You, you know that. Because I know that I, for one, bow to no man in my love for accordion music. Uh, but you see, this is really, well, it's an informal kind of gathering, you know, just friends. And, well, the accordion is a dressy instrument. It doesn't go. They don't, do you understand, Nick? Hey, you think I wanted to play? I only play because you asked me. Oh, you yeah, know. well, thank you. Thank you. Listen, you know, because people pay good money to hear me play. Oh, yes, I'm sure of that. Yes. You know, because, for example, today alone I made 152 bucks for three hours' work. Nick, give me a break. I'm trying to have a party here. Which is, which is, you know, which is 50 bucks an hour, which is more than anybody makes. I make 60. 60? Yes. Yeah, but how many hours a week you work? About 50. Fifty. Hey, you can't make that much. <laughs> Why not? Well, uh, because that's uh, three thousand dollars a week. <laughs> that's what I make. What instrument you play? <laughs> I'm a psychiatrist. Hey, a psychiatrist, hey, of course. <laughs> hey, you got any specialty, Doc? I mean, you just treat regular, normal fruitcakes that are real <laughs> ones. <laughs> You're a very sensitive young man, aren't you? <laughs> a 
done, Nick. You shouldn't have done that. Done what? But all you meant to ask is what kind of psychiatrist are you, doctor? Well, I work mostly with couples like a marriage counselor. I think that kind of stuff is the biggest rip-off in the world. It never helped anybody I know. That's just an opinion. Well, I think that you have onion soup for brains. <laughs> Everybody's still having a great time, huh? Yes. I'm just responding to a criticism of my profession that we don't really help people. I think we do. In fact, I know I can prove that. I'd sure like to see that. All right, let's get started. Oh, oh no, no, no. Please, count me out. No. Oh, come on, Rhoda. Oh, no, Sounds no. like fun. Listen, my one claim to fame is that no matter how bad things got, I never went to a shrink. Hey, uh, let's see what Dr. Dollar a Minute here has to offer. <laughs> yeah, Rhoda, everybody wants to do it but you. I mean, it's informal, remember? Joe, I don't think I want anyone to know what's going on in my head right now. And I don't think you do either. <laughs> <laughs> let's start with a little exercise just to get us warmed up. Now, all the men line up over on this side of the room. And all their uh, significant others on the other side. Significant others? Well, I don't like to say wives are not all married here and there's no other term. How about boys and girls? I'll try it. Okay? Let's line up. Oh. Anybody know the Virginia Reel? And I want each couple, one at a time, without saying anything, to walk across the room to his or her boy or girl. When you get to the center of the room, I want you to look into each other's eyes. See what's there. Go with it, but non-verbally. <laughs> Go with what? Did I miss something? <laughs> Come on, Susie. Let your mouth down. <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs> there. Now, you see how we looked into each other's eyes, made contact, how I used my hands when I got out there? Thank you, honey. You sit down. <laughs> All right. That's called body language. And it tells a lot about the true feelings of a person. Now, who's going to go first and show us what's really going on with them? Well, how about Rhoda and Joe? After all, it's their party. Yeah, it's good no. idea. Good oh, idea. no, that's not a good idea. No, 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 no. Listen, not, I don't even want... Non-verbally. Oh, boy, you're going to really be a lot of fun tonight, brother, aren't you? non -verbal. Oh, it's fun you want, huh? Shh! Do you believe it? Non-verbally. Oh. <laughs> Rip off, huh? Can I have your card? Now, <laughs> did you feel what happened here and did you go all the way with what you felt? All the way? <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to go next. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I want to go with every chick in the room. Uh, Joey, I'll, I'll meet you after class. That's a date. Okay, Brenda, you ready? body language and the interesting thing is you can never anticipate what's going to happen to someone when you meet them with words and not over the phone the time. The other thing is you can see that in front of the phone. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you very much. That was good. Well, I guess it's our turn, darling. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you doing? Uh, shouldn't I go with them? I came with them. No, no. <laughs> Great 
party room. Now, that was a pretty good start. We got some clear messages there. One real clear one from Joe and Rhoda, and I think there's no mistaking the fact that Denise was hostile. I am not hostile. Oh, look. I can't help it. I do not know how to make it through these business parties. I mean, I always feel like I'm so boring. That's ridiculous, Denise. You're not boring. Well, you're boring, too. Yeah, so are you. Good. Good. Well, I know what you mean, Denise. I really do. All that chit-chat that wives do when they only see each other at business parties. Why? It was so much easier when I was single. All I had to do was stand in a corner and say to a guy, no, I do not believe in lust at first sight. <laughs> Come on, let's be friends. Good. You're not boring. Neither <laughs> are you. Oh. Hey, why does she get to hug everybody, huh? You gotta hug me, but you gotta go and leave me standing there looking like a fool. Will you lighten up here? You're embarrassing me in front of all the people. I don't care. He's a... He's a great doctor. The man's a great doctor. You know, you know, you made a fool out of yourself in front of all these people. And you made a fool out of me, too, because I brought you. Maybe the greatest doctor in the world. So? So? Nothing. Sorry. Sorry. Unfortunately, Brenda's not a great patient. <laughs> yes, Carl. Good evening. This is Carlton, your doorman. Yes, yes, yes. There's another guest here for your party. The Duke of Pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. Send him up, will you? Okay, okay. Now, let's review what we've accomplished so far. Any questions? Could I have a turn? Well, we're working mostly with couples. Let her have a turn. Good idea. <laughs> what do I do? Well, uh, let's pretend that your ex-husband... Eddie! Eddie! Eddie is sitting in this chair right here. And you talk to him. And that chair? Oh, I can't, I Try. can't. I know, I know. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> you look great. No, 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 no. Alice, what I mean, isn't there something you always wanted to say to him, but you never had the chance? Well, I guess I always wanted to ask him, why'd you leave me, Eddie? Why? I was a good and faithful wife to you for seven years. I was. I made him a nice home, cooked his favorite meals. He was my life. Don't tell me, tell him. Well, he knows it. Uh, isn't, there, isn't there something that he doesn't know that you've always wanted to tell him? Well, I guess I never had the chance to, to ask him why he left me. Um, I mean, I couldn't. Tell I me. couldn't. I couldn't sleep, Eddie. I cried for seven months straight. And so, Eddie, there's just no way I can consider what you did a nice thing to do to a person. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Oh, and thank you, Eddie, for listening and for all the good times. I haven't forgotten them either. I, I just didn't want you to think that I was picking on you. There was nobody in that chair. Wow, what a night. <laughs> Boy, do I feel good. <laughs> Incredible. Well, I mean, I don't want to sound conceited, but I mean, well, this usually doesn't go this well. Sometimes one couple gets something out of it, but not every party. I mean, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> this, this is like a scoring a touchdown every time you get the ball. I mean, God, I love what I do. <laughs> no problems here, right? No problems here. But, honey, you don't have a problem, do you? Well, just a little one. What? You sucked the youth out of my life, Arthur, and left me a dried-up machine that produces a baby a year. <laughs> Good pizza. Uh, Arthur, I think you're avoiding the issue here. Oh, no, 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 no. You see, now, there are two issues here. There's what my wife brought up, and then there's the pizza, you see. And I've just been dealing with the one issue, which was the first issue here, which is terrific pizza. And now I'm prepared to deal with what my wife brought up, which is if she still wants to talk about it. Yes, I still want to talk about okay, it. Okay, then. Let's talk about it in the car. No. No, no. I want to talk about it here and now. All right. All right. 
Susan, why are you mad at me? Arthur, when we got married, I had hopes and dreams. I mean, not just for us or for a family. I know, I realize, I wanted those kids as much as you did. But I have my own dreams, Arthur. I don't think I can help you. I got problems, too. I mean, it's not easy <laughs> making $150,000 a year. Why don't you listen to me? I don't know who I am anymore. Last week, I was watching the electric company without the kids. And it was too hard for me. I had to turn back to Sesame Street. I think there's got to be a way that I can find some time for myself. Okay. Now, that's easy. Now, believe me, this is the easiest kind of problem. Actually, it's kind of a fun problem because it's a practical problem. And since it's practical, there's a practical solution to it. Now, all of you can help us on this one. The problem is Susan cannot find time for herself. Now, how can she get time? Good, here's an answer. Why don't you get some help in the house? I have help. You can't trust a two-year-old with somebody else. It would be nice if help could help, but help's no help. I got it. Why don't you get a job at home? Like what? Oh, I don't know, like um, typing envelopes. They got jobs where you get thousands of envelopes, and all you have to do is address their labels and stick them on. Then you staple thousands of pieces of paper together, see? And you <laughs> stuff them in the envelopes, and you seal them. <laughs> Arthur, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to go. Okay. Oh, thanks, Rutherford, for inviting oh, us. Oh, wait a minute. I can't let you go like this. Now, wait a minute. Listen, guys, there has got to be an answer. There does. And I'm going to find it right now. Could you make it fast, Rhoda? I'm not supposed to stand on my feet too long. <laughs> uh, Susie, I'll call you tomorrow with an answer. I'll be there. And if not tomorrow, the day after. I'll be there. I may always be there. Thanks for coming. Nice couple. Hey, you think she's got problems? You should hear some of the heavy stuff that's been going down with me lately. You know, for example... You know, Nick, I'm going to say something now that I never thought I would hear myself say in a million years. Would you play your accordion? <laughs>